More now on our developing story, a massive fire in O'Fallon, Missouri, destroys a building. Several fire crews responded to the scene this morning and the school next door is forced to close for the day. Fox 2's Chris Renier live on scene with what we know right now. Chris. Ty and Margie, good morning to both of you. We are outside of Bill's Service Center here on Sondran in O'Fallon, Missouri, just off of I-70. Fire crews starting to wind down, starting to put some of that equipment away, but there is still one aerial truck putting water on this part of the building here, this main storage area where this fire erupted overnight. They're starting to tear down what's left of that building and just continue to put water on it so they can make sure that none of this fire reignites. That storage area that caught on fire there was filled with lawn mowers, which means there was gasoline in there. There was all kinds of fuel for this fire. We can show you some video from earlier from Bomberito Automotive Group Skyfox. Fire crews getting the call here about 440 this morning. We just spoke a short time ago with Brian Moore. He's the battalion chief from the O'Fallon, Missouri Fire Protection District. He tells me when crews got here, this storage building was already fully engulfed in flames and there were explosions coming from the building, probably from gasoline in there associated with all of the lawnmowers. Moore tells me that a cause for this fire is still under investigation, but he says that the owner's son was in there right before the fire happened, perhaps working something like that. They're still trying to put all that together. He was able to get out, call the fire department once that person realized that this fire had ignited in that storage building. We can also show you some video from the ground that we captured earlier. There were four different fire departments out here, about a dozen pieces of equipment, around 30 firefighters battling the flames here. Fort Zumwalt North Middle School is right next door to this business. There was some concern for the school, particularly because of the fire and smoke that was right next door. That school has closed for the day as a precaution, the rest of the Fort Zumwalt schools are still open, but Zumwalt North Middle is closed for the day. We spoke earlier with Battalion Chief Moore. Here is some of what he told us about what this firefight was like. It's a large structure um, and it's full of lawnmowers, according to the owner, gasoline products, possibly propane. Yes, we had several uh, large explosions inside the structure while we were attempting to put out the fire. We wanted to make sure we took uh, precautions to have a safe collapse zone built around the uh, setup around the building. That way, if and when the building collapsed, which it did throughout the fire, uh, our firefighters were safe. And we were also far enough distance away to not have to worry about the explosions being a problem for us. Good news here. No injuries reported, but fire crews, at least some, are going to be on the scene here for some time as they continue to douse that building with water and they're going to eventually knock the rest of it down just to make sure nothing else happens. The investigation into a cause still underway at this hour. The Department of Natural Resources has been called in just to make sure there is no hazardous runoff from that building since there was propane and gas around that area. This business, Bill's Service Center, has been in O'Fallon for decades. They rent all kinds of equipment from lawn mowers to bobcats, cherry pickers, even some tables and chairs. So a lot of fuel for fire here. Fortunately, they were able to get this under control without it spreading anywhere else. For now, live in O'Fallon, Chris Renier, Fox News.